there is a lot of water on the moon. And there is more water than scientists expected. That means scientists next need to find oil or a coronavirus vaccine on the moon. Then people will be more excited about a permanent moon base. Children benefit from exposure to dirt from the forest. Exposure to dirt means touching the dirt. In other words, getting dirty helps children's immune systems. After four weeks of exposure, the Finland study found that dirty three to five-year-olds had healthier skin bacteria. Muslims around the world have attacked French people this week for insulting their religion. An insult is anything embarrassing or hurtful. A former Malaysian prime minister used his free speech on Twitter to defend the insulted Muslims. He said Muslims are allowed to kill millions of French people because of their shared history. Breaking news, children are also allowed to put diapers on their parents because of their shared history. Speaking of embarrassment, Tucker Carlson's team on Fox News lost the documents that would incriminate Hunter Biden, Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden's son. Incriminating someone means making someone look guilty. The good news is the documents were found and Hunter Biden will not be president of the United States. The bad news is the incriminated evidence is in Tucker Carlson's hands, and he's keeping it a secret. He won't show us the incriminating evidence. Incriminating. The anti-SARS protests continued for the third week in Nigeria, and the military incriminated themselves by killing more protesters. A protester is someone speaking out against something else. That's also what anti means, against. Nigerian young people are protesting against violence from the Nigerian police and military. The Polish Constitutional Court has stopped abortion. Women in Poland protested against the government's abortion ban. A ban stops something. Americans are watching the Polish protest because people are afraid that the new, very conservative Supreme Court might ban abortion, civil unions, dirty playgrounds, and the moon. This coming Tuesday, we will witness the world's most expensive popularity contest between Trump and Biden. A popularity contest is when two people insult each other and we vote on the person with the best insults. And then the popularity contest winner pretends to rule the world. More on the US election next week. If you've watched this far, send the weekly week news to your friends and enemies. Our words this week are exposure, insult, incriminating, protest, and ban. Popularity contest. I'm your host, Michael Paul John Smith. Eat your vegetables and read your news.